The ANC Greater Johannesburg Region says it's ready to host its delay-hit elective conference this coming weekend. The region has lost a number of its leaders, including two sitting and one former mayor. For more, we're joined by the ANC Greater Johannesburg's spokesperson, Sasabona Manganye. Good evening to you. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, much, of, much has been publicized about the losses in leadership that you as a region have experienced. But let's talk about the readiness for this weekend's conference. Where would you say you're at? Uh, good evening, uh, Kathy, and your viewers. Um, yes, we are preparing for our regional conference uh, this weekend. Today, we were busy with the pre-registration for the delegates, and um, at least uh, more than 80% of the delegates have been pre-registered. So uh, we will be able uh, to finalize registration also uh, on Friday. Uh, so we, we we believe that we are very much ready because uh, Friday will all will be registration until uh, at least around five, and then we can commence about the formal program around six o'clock uh, on Friday. Unfortunately, we've seen quite a number of conferences of your party being marred by chaos. If you just take a look at what happened in four ways this past weekend, not a good picture for the ANC. And I believe, uh, you know, the provincial chair, David Makura, describing it as an embarrassing moment for the party. Are we likely to see any scenes of that nature this weekend? Uh, not a good picture at all uh, for an organization of the African National Congress, Kaliba, especially in a Gauteng province. Uh, definitely in Johannesburg, uh, the rest are short that uh, we are not going to see those kind of pictures in Johannesburg. Johannesburg is a, an ANC region that uh, has uh, branches and delegates that are politically matured. Uh, who knows how to follow processes in dealing with the issues that they are aggrieved on. They will never embarrass the ANC and put the name of the ANC into this report. So we believe that, uh, you know, you will know that we have postponed our conference two times. And the reason for our postponement was for the same reason of giving our branches a fair opportunity for their disputes to be dealt with uh, fairly so so that by Friday we know that uh, we are not going to be entertaining any issue that is related to issues of dispute. So we believe that uh, we have done uh, all pre-conference -pre uh, issues that are required to ensure that we are fully ready by Friday. My understanding is that some of the outstanding disputes that uh, were on the table to be dealt with were only resolved or attended to this past weekend. There's still the issue of those who may want to appeal uh, then some of the findings. Yeah, look, that, that is possible, uh, but uh, branches uh, are given 48 hours to make a determination after the decision has been communicated to them. And um, we, we, we know that as of Saturday, that's when uh, finalization of all branches uh, which uh, had uh, appeal to the Provincial Dispute Resolution Committee. And um, uh, by Monday, there was no report of any appeal. But if there are any appeals that might have came uh, during then, which were not reported to us, all of those issues should be addressed at least uh, before Friday. Of so course. by Friday, we should be knowing uh, the status of each and every branch. Of course, one of the other issues that seems to have been difficult for other conferences, again, of, of the ANC of this nature, has been the issue of credentials. How are you ensuring um, that this will not impact your conference? Yeah, look. The, all these processes of uh, BBGM, BGMs, uh, nominating delegates to the conference, uh, disputes that are lodged against these meetings, the appeals, and finalization of those kind of appeals are a build up to conference credentials. So you will not have a problem of conference credentials 
for as long as you have attended to these issues in the manner that is in order, in the manner that uh, it's, it's organizational and it's as per the guidelines that have been issued by the National Executive Committee. And we believe that uh, we have done our level best to ensure that we, are, we comply with those guidelines. Our branches and members have also complied with those guidelines where they were aggrieved. They have lodged, uh, you know, those disputes and the dispute has been uh, attended by all the dispute resolution committees from different levels. And we believe that when we deal with credentials on Saturday morning, we will not have a problem of credentials. But Johannesburg is seen as an important region, particularly when it comes to uh, how it contributes to the broader provincial politics. What nature of contestation are you anticipating, uh, given the fact that there's, of course, also been this loss of uh, some of the leaders and former leaders in this province? Yeah, definitely. Um, Johannesburg uh, is, 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 is the world-class city that is uh, very critical not only to the African National Congress, to Gauteng, South Africa, and Africa at large. And, 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 and as a result, you expect that a, a Johannesburg conference should set the tone uh, going towards the National Policy Conference and the national conference, and that is why our regional conference agenda um, is, 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 is in respect of uh, those kind of issues. We have got four commissions that we are going to focus on in the conference, and one of the uh, commission that focuses on the ideological outlook of the organization, that focuses on the base document that has been produced uh, through the provincial executive committee, there is also a, a commission that is going to be focusing on the organizational renewal. How do we ensure that we renew ourselves as an organization and we rebuild the, our structures in Johannesburg and that renewal translates into benefiting the people of Johannesburg as the ANC is the leader of society and whatever we do must be in the best interest of society. But we will also deal with issues of uh, how do we ensure that uh, we reclaim the city of Johannesburg, uh, and what are those key priorities when we reclaim the city of Johannesburg that we are going to implement as per the plan that we have developed uh, in 2011, the, your GDS 2040 program, uh, which is still intact, uh, and we believe that uh, when we take over the city, we will ensure that it remains on course. And, and lastly, we will focus on the discussion on the elections, and, and you will know that before this commission uh, commences, we will have uh, the former Statistics General, uh, Padilu Wuta, uh, who is going to assist us to self-critique, but giving us a, an outsider's point of view about the African National Congress, so that we, we don't become inward-looking. We also get uh, critiques from uh, those that look at us from outside, uh -huh. so that when we discuss in our commissions, we must discuss with an understanding of how society views ourselves and how do we self-correct ourselves as an organization so that we can be able to take our rightful place in society as the leader of society. All right. Well, we'll be waiting to see how that conference unfolds then, as you heard there, a bird then to hopefully reclaim the city after this conference. We'll see what lies ahead. The ANC Greater Johannesburg spokesperson, Sasabona Mangani.